we now have a circuit that we like for our lamp. Time to build a circuit board that replaces this whole mess with a single nice PCB. So my version will have an LED and a switch. If you need more than that, then uh, discuss it with me and we can design something. But you need to show it on a breadboard before doing anything else because we want to prove it works before we order boards. We really have one chance at this. So I'm going to switch over to KiCad. And we're going to do File, New Project. And we're going to call it, we're going to pull up a folder, up a folder. We're going to get a new folder called uh, ESP Lamp. And we're going to call it um, ESP Lamp. I probably don't need to make two folders, but I'd rather have everything pocketed away nicely. So before we do anything else, we need to take and get access to a folder where I've made some footprints and schematic items for you to use. Because this board is not available in KiCad. We're going to have to use a, I made a custom footprint. It even includes a solid 3D model. It's got everything. So our first step is we're going to go and open up your um, file browser. And I have two full windows open, one of my downloads, one of my KiCad. I'm now going to go into the ESP lamp folder, ESP lamp folder, and I'm going to go and take, and I'm going to unzip my library that zips. So we're going to double click on this guy, and we're going to copy these files and drop them right into the ESP lamp folder. Now, back in KiCad, we need to tell KiCad about those objects. So let's go to KiCad, and our first step is going to go to preferences, uh, manage symbol libraries, and we're going to go to project specific libraries. We're going to hit the um, uh, add existing library to table, and we're going to click on my li my library dot sim or underscore sim. I'm going to hit open. I'm going to hit OK. That's going to take a second. Let's go update a moment, and then uh, KiCad will take and uh, close that window. Now we're gonna go to preferences, manage footprint libraries. Same thing, we're gonna go to project specific libraries, click on the folder, or click on the my library.pretty, select folder, hit okay. Now we have access to the libraries. They should show up right here in your project. So we have the footprints. We also have our um, symbols. So let's go to the schematic editor and start building this thing. So let's start with the thing that we actually need, which is going to be our ESP. So the ESP is going to be the center of our world. He's going to have our power and ground. He's going to have all our circuit starts. So he's really the most important thing. So we're going to go to symbol tools. So I'll load up the library. And I'm going to, oh, just thinking. Remember, KiCad is a little slow starting up the first time you do things. This one's going to be even worse because we have those extra libraries that I've brought in. So I'm going to pause the video while that opens. That did take quite a time. So I'm going to start typing in my filter, ESP. And if I go to my library, I want my ESP8266 board, 8266 board. So hit OK. Drop it in. Let's zoom in so you actually see what we're looking at. I'm going to hit escape. And this is our board. And I'm going to actually rotate him around. So select him, RR. And that way, the pins are in the same order that they are right here. So GND on the left, A0 on the right, or AD on the left. So this matches what I'm doing. Now, we need to add our switch and our RGB LED. So let's go to symbols and we're going to type in RGB LED. And we want this has three inputs, has three inputs and three outputs. That's not it. This has one input and three grounds. That's the one we want RGBA, which makes sense for anode. I'm going to hit OK. And 
because I like to lay this out physically how my board is, I'm going to hit R. And I'm going to go this way. And now let's add our third item, which is going to be a switch. And I don't want connectors, so I'm going to close that. I don't want devices. I don't want analog switches. I don't want regulars. I don't want regulators. I don't want RFs. Switches. And we're in cl clicking through. And we want a switch. Nope, it's not those. There we go. We want a switch that has one input and two outputs because on our circuit, our power comes, our, well, our a single pin is going to go to our LED, and then the two wires are going to go to the 5 volt and 3.3 volt. So that looks good. And I don't want, no. Let's see, that does it. Yep. And I'm going to hit R. So that is pointing. I'm going to move him. So now we can start wiring stuff up. So let's start from the left of my board. I need my 5 volt. He's going to go into one side of my thing. And if I look, he is going into the left side of my switch. So we're going to go from the 5 volt. Oh, add wire. Uh, Control-Z. I don't know what I just did. And Kaika just closed. Um, let's go and file open project. Projects, ESP lamp, ESP lamp. All right. And let's go to the smack header and hope that we didn't lose everything. We did. I'm going to pause the video while I update that I didn't get back where it was. All right. Now that I've put that back to where it was, I'm going to now go and start connecting our wires. And I'm going to start off with putting in our switch. So um, we're going to run a wire from the 5 volt. Cancel. And we're going to put the 5 volt into. Can I have a couple guys from maintenance? Sorry about that. That's going to go to one side of the switch. And now we're going to take the 3 volt. And I'm going to come across and come in here. Um, let's see if we can take this and go R, R. Because I think even though it's backwards the way I had it, I'm going to delete this wire. I don't like crossing the wires. I can avoid it. I'll go here. Let's see if we can fix this. So that goes there. Okay. Now let's see if I can go. Nope. Uh, Control Z. Let's try this again. I'm going to delete this. Delete this. Go my mouse cursor. Okay. All right. I'm going to go and run the 5 volt line to this side of my switch. There we go. That's going to be much cleaner. Making this clean and easy to read is really helpful. And this is now going to go to the power side of our pin. Now we're going to run our digital inputs to our three lines. So I have digital three is going to my red. I'm 
I have digital four. And digital nine because digital eight was weird. I'm going to go over, down, and that is actually fairly pretty. So now I have all my wires in place. So fairly simple. We might end up making some of these nets later. We'll decide that as we get farther along. So now we're going to go through our steps, center steps check. We're going to first fill in reference designators, annotate, close. Board one, switch one, uh, D one, good. We're going to run the ERD, uh, ERC. Oop, and I have an area. Ah, we have a bunch of angry points because these pins are not connected. So what we need to do is we need to tell it those pins are NC. So we're gonna hit the non-connection flag and we're gonna click on each of these guys to turn them off. Now let's run the ERC again. And we need to, okay, we need to give it a flag to know that these are Trevin pins, so they have power. So we need to add another piece. So we are going to take and delete these two guys for controls and turn them into nets. So now we're going to go to our um, flag. We're going to call it. 3.3 V. I'm going to rotate that so he can go right here. And I need another one above pin this guy here. 3.3 V. Yep, capital V, so it matches. R. And I'm going to need another one here. Called 5V. I want to hit R. Oh, no, R. Uh, control Z. Control Y. All right. I'm going to put new flag. Click 5V. Hit OK. I'm going to hit R. And I'm going to click here and do 5V, hit R. Let's wire those up quickly. And then we're going to do one more thing, which is going to create, tell that KiCad that these are power, these are driven pieces. We're going to add flags. So we're going to go 3.3V. I'm going to hit R, thumbs down, and I'm going to do another one, 5V. And it's important that the caps and stuff are the same in all these, so they show up properly. And then schematic, we're in place, um, flag, and we're going to put power flag, plus 3 volt. And then we're going to put another flag in. Flag 5 volt. And then route those. And if this doesn't work, I will be playing the and figuring out what's wrong. Now, let's run, go through. We'll run the annotate. I'm going to clear these actually and then annotate again so everything get relabeled. I'm then going to go ERC, run ERC. Oh. Power input line. So why is it angry? I wonder if I need to instead use a different symbol. Let's go to flag and let's grab the power flag.
And let's take and uh, move these over a little bit. Let's try ERC. Let's again fill schematic, clear annotations, annotate. Then ERC. There we go. So I had to put a power flag on those. Now we should be good. Next step is to do our footprints. We'll do that in the next video because this video is getting kind of long. But we have our basic schematic based on our um, breadboard.